Hi guys, I'm Zach. And I'm Lauren. And we're here with Kennedy Violins today to talk to you about some of the accessories that we think are must-haves. You should keep them with you at all times in your violin case. And these are going to be some things that, of course, Lauren keeps in her case when she's teaching or performing or really taking her violin anyway. So first we're going to talk about some of the things you'll need to perform. Alright, so the first performance accessories are going to be really obvious, but of course the first one is going to be a shoulder rest. So I think about like 90% or more violinists and violas play with a shoulder rest these days. So you're obviously going to have one of those in your case if you plan on uh, playing your violin anyway. Um, the second thing of course is going to be a bow. Everyone is going to be using a bow during their performance. And the other thing though, you're going to want to definitely have rosin um, to go with the bow to make sure that you're getting your bow rosin. And Lauren has a couple other things that she does as well. Yeah, so for me personally, um, I perform a lot in like big classical orchestras, so I always like to have a big bag of earplugs on hand. Um, around 80% of classical musicians um, experiencing, experience some kind of hearing loss within their lifetime. Um, and I think that's because most people don't realize that even though we're playing acoustic instruments and around acoustic instruments, there's still a lot of sound going on. Um, so I like to keep some earplugs on hand. Um, I also like to have my mute, my little tort mute, um, for when, I, um, when I'm playing a piece that requires me to lower my sound. Um, I also have a big practice mute if I need to practice somewhere and I want to you know, quiet my sound quite a bit. Um, so you can see that there's a real big difference between these two. This one is a lot heftier. Um, this is just for performance uh, purposes. The next thing that we're going to cover is instrument maintenance. So I like to keep a nice cleaning cloth on me at all times. This is just to wipe the excess rosin off my strings when I'm done playing. Um, and I also like to keep a, a little thing of peg compound. So this is kind of to prevent the pegs from getting really stuck and not moving. So what you, you're going to want to do to apply this is you're going to want to unwind the strings, um, wipe a little bit of this on the peg itself, and then restring it. Um, and then the pegs should move a lot more easily. Yeah, another thing that's really important that also has to do, can also help with your pegs, is making sure your instrument is properly humidified. So there are a couple ways to do this. Um, one of the more popular ways that a lot of people are going with are these Boveda humidity packs, which we of course carry. Um, these can be just kept in your case and they're gonna keep your instrument at basically a solid 49% humidity. Um, I always recommend having a hygrometer in your case, which of course you can see here, that tracks your humidity anytime you're taking your instrument out from the place you normally store it. You could go to higher or lower humidities and it's just a great idea to keep track of that. Especially if it gets too low, you could end up having something like a crack in your instrument. So there's also other things that people use like damp bits. Some people even just use a sponge that can be kind of damp, kept in a sandwich bag in their case. You just want to be providing some sort of moisture to the instrument. Um, the other thing you're going to want to have is backup strings. So backup strings are really important just because sometimes you will snap a string during a performance. And it's really not fun. You know, I think one time when I was performing, I was playing a jazz gig and I snapped a G string and luckily I had a backup string for that. Well, it did take me a few minutes to change it in the middle of the set. Um, it, help I could actually finish the gig um, and not have to play just on three strings for the rest mm -hmm. of the gig. So it's a huge help to have those, really important. You can also help out your section mates with it if you're in a classical performance. Um, the other thing that you might want to have is a backup bow as well. The backup bow is just really important just in case, you know, something happens to your main bow. You definitely want to have something there to back you up so you can continue the performance. Okay, so now we're going to talk to you about some just other accessories that are really important to have in your case. So the first thing that I really like to have is a tuner. A lot of times people are using cell phones and things like that because there's a lot of tuning apps out there that you can use for that. But sometimes having a, just a clip-on tuner is really nice, especially sometimes before I'm warming up before an orchestra gig, then I'll actually want to tune my bass and make sure it's in tune. There's a lot of noise going on because everyone's warming up. I just want to make sure I get it close before, you know, you actually take an A. Um, so that's really important to keep around. Another thing is you're going to need to mark your parts. You're going to need to write in instructions from the conductor or band leader, wherever you're playing. And um, so pencil is really important as well as a pencil sharpener as well. These are things that are like really crucial to have on a gig. Plus, sometimes you may need to exchange contact information with people, and some people still write things down. So it's really important. 
Um, so a couple of other things that I like to have in my case, I always like to have a pair of nail clippers on me. I like to keep my nails really, really short because it's a little easier to kind of play on the fingerboard. I feel like when my nails get long, it's a little awkward and I kind of have to like compensate for it. So those are really, really nice. Um, these KV ones actually are a keychain, so you can hook them up to your case, wherever you want, or your purse or bag. Um, I also like to keep some hand sanitizer on me as well, just for my hands. Um, and then also sometimes um, I tend to forget to wipe my strings after I play. Um, and then what happens is all of that rosin will ca actually cake onto the strings themselves. So what I do to remove that is I just dab a little bit of this on like a paper towel or like just like something, something like that or tissue. Um, and then I really gently just wipe the strings off and it should come right off. But be careful not to get any of that hand sanitizer on the instrument itself because it could ruin the varnish there. So there you have it, you guys. This is everything that I keep in my case. Um, of course, let me know if I missed anything. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Yeah, and some of these things we send out with all our outfits. So the polishing cloth, the backup strings, the bow, the rosin, you're going to get that with any violin you order from us. Some of the things come with some of our outfits, like shoulder rest and tuner, but we can always help you customize your outfit should you want any of these extra accessories. Uh, you can always just give us a call. We're all musicians and players here, and we hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for tuning in.